Hello, welcome back to the LeBlinken channel. Today, I'm gonna do a Q&A. Why? Because it was requested. Request it, okay? Don't kill the messenger. Um, Octa Rhymes With Us asked if I would do a Q&A. I asked you guys to give me questions on YouTube and on Facebook, and I got a couple. So I'm gonna read them out. I, I'm using the laptop because uh, a little easier. Let me see if I can find them now. Let me just see if I can find them. Alright. There was, I think, 16 questions or messages. So I'll start at the bottom. And it says, Have you scared when a balloon pops? I am a French lunar. Your videos are very cool. Mr. Thib knows. I... Do you get scared when the balloon pops? Not because it's like, ah, but because I've been doing these videos for like a couple years now. And when they pop, they can slap. I've gotten bruises in multiple places. Um, we won't go there. Uh, from balloons popping. So when I blow to pop, I'm afraid the balloon's gonna smack me in the face or in the eye. <sighs> can you imagine? How did you go blind? Well, um, so yeah, I am afraid of getting hurt. Just like if you sit pop. I am not that young anymore, and if I sit pop on a hard surface, I'll go break my butt. Alright? I don't want to do it. No harm in the making of these videos. Please. Um, that's why I like to do them with, uh, sunglasses on, or even those, like, fake sunglasses I have somewhere. Uh, because, ouch, it hurts. At least, alright, next question. Uh... Do you like doing the balloons in clothes videos? I think it's funny. Um, it, I'm sure it gets bigger. Oh, I have a balloon here. I, I figured I'd blow up a balloon while I was answering these questions. So, sorry about that. I am behind. Um, I don't mind doing them in my shirt. I have not tried to blow to pop yet because, again, I'm afraid it's gonna like hurt me. I'm sure it won't. One day I will blow to pop in a shirt. Also, I'm afraid I'm gonna rip the shirt. That could happen. How do you overcome your fear of blow to pops? I just buckle down and I try to get it done. That's why a lot of my balloon blow to pops, I panic and I usually end up finger popping. Um, but yeah, I just, I try to buckle through it. It's a lot of anxiety that goes in to the balloon about to pop in your face. Especially when you can feel it in the neck when it's ready. She's ready to go! Alright. Oh, that was, um, Jerry Curtis. Sorry, I'm not good at writing names. And the person that asked if I liked the balloons in my shirt was Perfect Slice. I'm sorry. Uh, the Balloon Lover wants to know... How'd you come up with the name, the channel name LeBlanken? Well, my married name is LeBlank. Uh, I've had it eight years now. And um, my husband's family is pretty colorful. We'll say that. And um, when I was like hanging out with him, and I was like, you know what? LeBlank shouldn't be a name. It should be an action name, like LeBlanken. Cause you're not just LeBlank, you're LeBlanken. Um, also, it's good for a channel because my married name is LeBlank and Andrea's married name is Coffin. So LeBlank and N could have the end of Coffin in it. So LeBlank and I don't know. Does it make sense? It does anything? All right. Inflating clothes wants to know what got you into making balloon fetish videos. I really enjoy the balloons under the clothes ones. Well, I got into balloons. I believe it might have been Andrea's idea to blow a balloon up. Um, and so we did. And then it got a bunch of likes. And then people come on crawling in. So the more people ask for them, the more I did them. Uh, I do not have a balloon fetish. I do this for fun. Uh, it's very disappointing that my my videos get my demonetized automatically just because there's a balloon in there. But I'm not here for the money. I'm just here for torture myself. All right, come. Q 
Kid Tony asks, what started the balloon videos? Again, I was, we were doing, we, 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 we were doing videos. Uh, most of them were food videos uh, because we love to eat food. And um, eventually someone said, hey, I like that one. So we, we started to keep continuing to do them. All right. Uh, someone, the same person, Kid Tony, do you wish the channel would go in a different direction other than balloons? I don't mind doing balloons. I would love it if I could have other things to do. Um, I can do inflatables. I know y'all love that. I could also do baggies or trash bags or um, gloves, anything that's plastic. Um, yeah. I don't know what else I would want to do. I do love doing eating videos, but you know, I don't mind not doing them either. <laughs> All right. The meaning of your ch channel name. I already talked about that. Uh, what has been the best experience for you with the balloons? Probably I get to have all you guys. 95% um, of you are very polite. The other 5%, there's either a language barrier that we're not understanding each other, or you're just a complete hole. That's, that's it. You know, some people are just holes. So thank you for being here though. I take all of them. It's kind of fun. All right. Um, Philip, one of our number ones. Here's hoping a uh, favorite balloon to blow up. Uh, favorite balloon? I would have to say probably around this size. I like the little ones. The little ones are my friends. I like the little ones, but y'all love the big ones. I know. I know y'all love these ones. But I like small balloons. Come on. I'm lazy. Let's see. Um, 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 um. Let's see. Inflate uh, Fun Pops. All of your videos are great, and with Andrea too, especially the balloon ones. Question, do you now have more balloons when you do parties for your friends? And would you go as far as filling a room full of balloons, like in Patch Adams? Uh, that's awesome. I love that movie. It was obviously a very depressing movie, but it was, that was funny. That was a good time. I like the, um, when they, he puts up the gynecology band around the door. If you saw that movie, you know what it is. Um, I would say that back when I did parties or back when the island, I live on an island, would let us have helium balloons, I would always bring my friends um, and coworkers inflatable balloons. I would like one time, more than one time, I'd have to say. Yeah, more than one time. I've filled um, a building or a room with helium balloons. For one of my coworkers' 50th birthday, we put balloons all over the workplace, everywhere. Every room had them. There was 50 of them. Ah, it was crazy. And uh, yeah, so I love giving people balloons. If you ask Andrea, I've given her helium balloons before because I love balloons that way. They look pretty. They always look pretty. But I don't party anymore and uh, we don't have helium balloons. You'd have to go and buy your own private tank, come over on the island with it, and then fill like maybe 20 balloons with it. Like that's not, that's not happening. They used to have fill a balloon for a dollar at the store here. Like, like a dollar balloon? Heck yeah, give me 50. I'll find a way to put it in my car. All right, next balloon. Or question. Alexander Games wants to know favorite place to blow up a balloon. I, this is a good place. I moved out here um, to be by the Christmas tree. Um, I don't mind going in the bedroom. That's usually my area. The one with the stickers in the wall. That's my go-to place because it's usually the cleanest. Because I live in a very tiny place. Like I'm in my living room or my dining room. This is my living room, and that's my bedroom, and that's my kitchen. Literally tiny. All right, balloon lover again. Have you ever blown up a 17-inch balloon? What's your favorite color to blow up? Uh, I've blown up plenty of balloons. I don't know if I have specifically 17-inch. Um, definitely 36 inches. I believe this is a 24-inch. Um, I would say I probably have. And my favorite color? Uh, 
my favorite color is yellow. And then my next favorite color is orange. And then my next favorite color is green. But I love, I love all the colors. I don't really judge. But I definitely, if you notice, I usually go towards yellow, green, and uh, orange. John Targart, old time friend. Uh, miss you and, miss Andrea and you together. Will she be coming back? I don't think Andrea would be coming back. She might make an appearance here and there. I wouldn't say no. Uh, we do talk about this here and there. I usually send her like pictures of the comments. I get like, ah, and she's like, ah, and we're like, why? But um, Andrea's busy. Uh, when we started this channel, Andrea had just overcome cancer. She got leukemia back in 2000. 12? Well, yeah, like January 2012. Um, she just gotten over her cancer. She is back. She is thriving. And, um, so we started this video, the, the first video we ever started. I was like, let's do it. I did it on my old crappy laptop. Um, and we, uh, we decided to eat a lemon challenge. And that was our first video ever. And if you go to that video, you'll see Andrea's hair is like short because her hair just grew back from having cancer. So we started that video that every Saturday we would hang out anyway. So when we started doing the videos every Saturday and uh, it was a fun way to get some delicious nasty food and eat it and it was awesome. I loved every second of it. Um, and then Andrea, I believe, got married and then we were still doing videos and then Andrea got pregnant and she bossed through. She bossed through, man, um, through all her pregnancy. I think she didn't miss much at all. And then when she had B, we tried. If you watch some of the videos at the end of her YouTube career, uh, we have the baby in the background and it is too much and it wasn't fun and we didn't want to rush, push anything. I'd rather have Andrea to myself. So, and she'd rather have me to myself. So we just hang out when we can. We get all of our gossip out and eat our food and sorry you're not there to see it, but She's still there. I love her. She's the bestest friend ever. Um, and she's also next door. I could probably bring the camera and walk three minutes down the road and to her house. <laughs> she's probably doing the same thing I wish I was doing right now, watching TV or doing laundry. <sighs> oh, almost dropped her. <clears throat> all right. Those were all of the the questions in that one. So then I got two, let's see. <laughs> Matthew Powers, this was a Facebook one. There's only two. Um, how did you end up doing YouTube videos? Again, me and Andrea just wanted something to do. I've always watched YouTube. I love Shane Dawson and Jenna Marbles. If they would just adopt me, uh, I would be the best baby ever. <laughs> So yeah, uh, next question is, uh, Jeff D is me. Uh, he always put messages me. Hello, Jeff. Uh, I must admit I've joined the whole Blanken experience a little late. So how did you and Andrea meet? Well, it was a chilly day back in November, 2000, sorry, November, 1999 I moved to Nantucket from New Hampshire I was in the eighth grade uh, we moved here my dad was a carpenter and the first class I had Andrea came up to me and she said hey you're new do you want to have lunch with me and I was like because oh! I moved around a lot and lunch is pretty stressful when you don't know anybody so I was like okay and um, long story short I couldn't find her at lunchtime. And another nice girl let me eat with her. So we uh, ended up being lunch buddies. Um, and she ate in a special area without was in the cafeteria, which was even better. So we got to go eat in the guidance counselor's office. Like, hello. And so yeah, we became friends. We chat on the phone. And um, then we got a little older. I moved off island at the end of eighth grade. And then I moved back at the end of ninth grade. And uh, we were friends. We hung out, we partied together. She's definitely helped me at my worst when whew, girl wasn't gonna get home without her. Andrea has saved my life multiple times. Thank you, Andrea. You are my bestest friend in the whole wide world. <laughs> um, 
but yeah, that was the video. It was a, quite a long one. I hope the balloon at least got you through it. Um, I'm still blowing it up a little. I hope you guys like this. This was fun to read you guys some questions, tell you a little bit about myself. Um, the dog's in the bedroom. Uh, I'm not going to blow this to pop because it's a lot to do. There's a lot more left. Alright, well that was the video. I'm just going to just going to dip later because uh, you never know. Maybe someone wants this balloon to be blown up again. So let's Oh yeah. I should have blown it up my shirt. That would have been hilarious. <laughs> Alright. So that was the video. If you guys liked it, leave a comment, subscribe, like us, love us, share us. If you want me to do another one of these videos, uh, let me know. I will ask again. Maybe you guys should leave me a comment down below. Tell me what do you want for Christmas? I don't know. Maybe something. All right, I gotta go. Bye.